you wanted to answer questions about women's studies, and so shouldn't the, the first answer you should be able to provide is what exactly is a woman? Well, it's, it, for me, it's, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? Uh, as a woman. <laughs> but, but what is that? As a uh, woman. Yeah. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I, <laughs> I can't really answer that. Who does a guy get a right to say what a woman is? <sighs> women only know what women are. Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. you used the word, so what did you mean when you said trans women are women if you don't know what it means? Right. So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who... That describes what? Exactly. People who identify as a woman. I identify as what? what? As a woman. What is that? Was to each their own. You know, the rest of the world is watching this and we are all just thinking, the West has lost its damned mind. The fact that this is even a discussion is, is mind-blowing to me. Because we see this and I'm sorry to say, but we are laughing. And not in the sense of disrespecting people who feel how they feel. It's just that you can feel how you feel, but reality remains reality. Facts remain facts. But the fact that it's become a discussion and the fact that people are going back and forth about it is crazy. And it's not like this is just a surface problem. This goes much deeper. It's to such an extent where biological facts don't matter. Objective reality doesn't matter anymore. And you see these debates and discussions with students and students can't make sense of the stuff they're learning in school. Check this out, for example. Hi, um, I thought you had some really good points, but I just wanted to ask you about um, hybrids and stuff because I'm here studying biology and so we've learned a lot about genetic um, mutations and disorders and such and there actually are hermaphrodite human beings where they have both ovaries and um, testicles. And that, I have it right here. It's actually a medical condition called ovotesticular disorder. And there are also other genetic disorders where people are born with XXY, XY, or just X or just Y and such. Um, and while it may seem rare, there are hundreds of thousands of people born with this each year. And so going off of your fairy tale hybrid people, they do exist. And so I'm just wondering how that would play into your view of there being a spectrum of gender because- These are people who can get pregnant and also impregnate someone else? Um, yes. It, hermaphrodites, they have both no. ovaries no. and testes. <laughs> no. Uh, they, 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 if, that, if such a person existed, that would certainly, um, I would not include that part of my next speech. Put aside the fact that she's a biology student. At the very least, if you're going to step into a debate, go in prepared. It was her point, and she couldn't even... <sighs> but... <laughs> Uh, such a person does not exist. Now, intersex and, and you know, the genetic deformities you're talking about obviously do exist, and I expected someone to bring that up in the, in the Q&A. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fine point to bring up. Um, two things I would say to that. Number one, that actually has nothing to do with transgenderism, because when, we're if, if when we talk about transgender, we're talking specifically about intersex people, then we would just say intersex. The two are but different. Transgender, most of the time, we're talking about men who, they don't have any deformity. They, they are just straight up men, clearly. Um, mm. And they are identifying as woman as a woman. So even if I agreed that what you're talking about is some sort of exception, that actually would have nothing to do with the transgender topic. But I don't think it is an exception because, as I said, I think a true uh, middle, you know, a true resident of the middle circle of the, of the Venn diagram would be someone who has the reproductive capabilities of both genders. And no one like that Doesn't exists. Exist. I mean, to be, not to be crude, but there isn't anyone who can get themselves pregnant, right? And uh, yeah. that doesn't exist in the human kingdom anyway. So I don't think, I, I think what you're talking about there are people who have deformities. And so in their case, it would be more difficult than usual to determine what their actual biological sex is because the usual me. indicators aren't there. Or aren't as obvious, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a biological sex. It's exactly. Just not as uh, evident. Clear. You know, the ones I actually feel sorry for are the kids. Because I imagine if the teachers can't define what a woman is and can't even talk about it, what are they teaching these kids? And how far does it go? What words can they say? What definitions can they give? And this video is a perfect example of the kind of confusion that I imagine these kids are going through. Your word is woman. 
woman, can I have the country of origin, please? I, I don't, I don't, it, probably England or Germany or something. Can I have the definition of woman, please? No. Why not? I just want to know the definition of woman. And that makes you a hateful little bigot, Lincoln. I don't hate anybody. How about we just use it in a sentence? Abortion is a woman's right. If a woman makes an accusation, we should believe all women. <laughs> Joe Biden picked a woman as a running mate. Katanji Brown Jackson is the first black woman on the Supreme Court. How can you use in all those sentences if you don't know the definition? The definition of woman is woman! <laughs> woman! A woman! Woman! That doesn't make any sense! It's a simple word, we all know what a woman is, just spell woman! You see, now if I happen to have kids on this side of the world, I'm sending them back home for school. Now, I get it, things may be difficult, but at least I know shit still makes sense. And believe me, I am not the only African thinking this. And to those of you that have been following this madness online, I'm sure you've all come to the same realization. None of it makes sense. And the people saying these things, they can't even make sense of it themselves. How would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a woman. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. Easy and precise. And how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Female. Because they're not, they're not female. They, they, they have, they have. You see, I'm still waiting for someone to stand on this side of the argument and not make themselves seem like a complete idiot. And it's not too much to ask. All I'm saying is answer a question. Say something that makes sense. You said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, almost as many people in the world are transgender as intersex. And well, a lot of people don't know. What? Well, wait, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly. That's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex binary of male and female. Um, a... So you, what you're saying is that a quote-unquote trans woman is a female? By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. What definitions? And this is exactly where my earlier comment about Western schools came from. What do you mean by definition you are familiar with? There is a definition, a fixed definition, not what you feel like, not what you think, a fixed definition of what a woman is. So how would you define female? Through my training in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. Crossing. Can't even give us a straight answer. Imagine trying to explain to a child what a female is with that answer it, it's not complicated but you also didn't you also didn't define so, so what is thank you what is a woman what is a female what, what do these words mean it's complicated and i know you're not going to like that answer but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology let me ask you, a question. you guys ask well, you one last hang question. on I, just let me finish you guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about s sex as a spectrum. It's not. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, then they're full of shit. I would say that. Look, there are... All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. I, I just have one, I have one quick, can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Yes. Okay, if you're responding, you're responding to a, a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, 
I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Look. <laughs> no, but that's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Sounds like we've established there are some people who, in principle, can get pregnant, and there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. The only but reason. But they can't get pregnant. Yes, but truth they. Truth matters, right? It, it does. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Truth matters, and they can't okay. get pregnant. I... That's the truth. So, how are they still women? Because they are, for, for, the, for the same reason, for the, for the same reason that, I, that I can rightly say that human beings have two legs. And if a person is born with only one leg, that doesn't call into question the statement that human beings have two legs, okay? A person being born with one leg doesn't mean that now legs are on a spectrum and we can't say, <laughs> We can't say anything at all about how many legs a person has. Who knows? They could, have, they could be a centipede. You know, they could, have a, they could have a hundred legs. No, we know human beings have two legs. If a human is born without two legs, something went wrong. They were supposed to have that second leg. Something went wrong. If you, if you, if you meet a person on the street who only has one leg, maybe, maybe they had an accident. Maybe they were in war. Maybe, maybe, some, you know, maybe they were in a car accident. Maybe they had cancer. A leg was cut off but you know that something went wrong because of the, by their nature, they're supposed to have two legs. <laughs> Same thing for a woman. A woman by her nature can get pregnant. A man by his nature never can. So if you meet a woman of childbearing age, say she's 28 years old and she can't get pregnant, you know automatically that something has gone wrong and she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So that proves that women by their nature can get pregnant because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something Wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with him. <laughs> because they already know it's that he's a male and there's only male and female, those who can get pregnant and those who can't. Now, I could take my 13-year-old sister and she would destroy him in an argument. And that has to tell you something. So when we sit here and we laugh and we say the West has lost its mind, I hope you can understand where we are coming from. Anyways, to end the video on a still controversial, but lighter note. And now we get to the core of the crisis. What is a woman? What is that in this day and time? Is there even such thing as a woman or a man or anything? Hmm, seems to be a question nowadays. Now listen, women get mad at me, gay people get mad at me, lesbians get mad at me, but I'm gonna tell you right now, and it's true, these transgenders, <laughs> these niggas want me dead. I've gone too far, I've said too much. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I'm very worried about it. I'm not even joking. Every time I come out on stage, I be scared. I be looking around the crowd, searching for Knuckles and Adam's apples to see where the threats might be coming from. <laughs> oh. A nigga came up to me on the street the other day. He said, careful Dave, they after you. I said, what? <laughs> One they or many they's? Unlike some people, I welcome different opinions. Agree or disagree? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I'll catch you on the next one.